this uh, this is uh, getting to view some of the remnants of the fire the last two days that uh, the county's been dealing with a uh, little background on on our family we're standing not very far from uh, where my grand great grandfather homesteaded in this country in, in 1885 and they came here in a covered wagon the dugout that my grandfather was born in is just uh, a mile away in our sight line but uh, this is probably one of the more challenging events that we've ever faced in our family's history the with the storms of the winter of 92 and record snowfall uh, were some challenges and the drought between 10 and 14 oh, 10 and 14 were challenging but this may be the biggest uh, speed bump we've encouraged so far uh, we're seeing a lot of this area right now for the first time today this pasture uh, had a group of, of spring calving cows and uh, some of the carcasses that we see are baby calves that are here along with their mothers and yet cows that are yet to have calved but uh, there were 72 head in this uh, pasture and it's a total loss of all all the calves and all the, the mothers and yet to be mothers uh, one of the reasons for the fire a lot of the ranchers in this area have been coming out of a drought and we had had good moisture the last few years and a lot of this country has healed up uh, quite nicely and we had a lot of fuel but uh, it's as bad as you can maybe imagine